I want to build a reasonable aerobic base before I start pushing VO2 max. And by the way, you do experience increases in VO2 max just from base building um, aerobic activity. So um, if you take a person who's completely deconditioned and you put them into just a zone two program and you slowly add duration um, and frequency to that, and then you retest their VO2 max, it'll be higher even if they have never done a single interval. But ultimately, to really start to boost VO2 max, you are going to need to add more intense movement. Um, I think that the easiest way to do that and the way we typically do it with our patients in a really detrained individual or untrained individual is just to add a little bit of interval training to the zone two workout. So for example, if a person is doing their zone two on a treadmill and let's say you've got them walking three miles an hour and you know after a few months they can handle three miles an hour at four percent or five percent incline you say great i want you to finish uh the workout doing five one minute quote unquote bursts where you increase the slope from five percent to ten percent and you're just going to do it for a minute. Um, and that's going to really tire them out. You do a minute on and take a minute off, a minute on, take a minute off. So you start to get them used to increasing the intensity. And this also becomes a chance to assess, um, is this going to be something that they can do safely or are they going to completely deteriorate in form?